This video is introducing excretion. There are separate videos on the skin, the kidneys and the lungs, which go into much more detail on these organs. So what is meant by excretion? Well, excretion is defined as the removal of metabolic waste. And it's really important that you do state metabolic waste. Metabolic waste is the waste produced as a result of an organism's metabolic reactions. So what are metabolic reactions? Well, metabolism is the sum of all the chemical reactions taking place in an organism. And metabolic reactions can be catabolic or anabolic. It's important that you know the difference between excretion and egestion. Excretion is not egestion. Excretion, remember, is the removal of metabolic waste. But egestion is the removal of undigested, unabsorbed food. And this happens through the anus. Excretion is really important. If you allow metabolic waste to build up, it can lead to sickness and or death. Excretion is therefore really important for homeostasis. Homeostasis means maintaining constant internal environment. So keeping internal conditions constant so that all your metabolic reactions can happen as they should. The organs of excretion are crucial for this. So the kidneys help to control water content or osmoregulation. The skin, well through sweating, it helps in maintaining temperature, thermoregulation. And the lungs help with the removal of CO2. Remember, if CO2 builds up in the blood, it affects the pH, it lowers the pH. The organs of excretion are the kidneys, the skin and the lungs. The skin excretes sweat. Sweat is mostly water and salts, but it does contain urea and other substances. Sweat is produced in a sweat gland and it travels to the surface of the skin in a sweat duct. You have to be able to locate on a diagram or indicate on a diagram where the sweat will emerge from the sweat duct. So it's here at a pore. Remember that when sweat evaporates, this has a cooling effect and so it assists in thermoregulation. The lungs excrete carbon dioxide and water vapour. Carbon dioxide enters the lungs from the blood capillaries and goes through the walls of the alveoli into the lungs where it's exhaled. The kidneys excrete urine and urine is mostly water with salt and urea and other substances, but mainly salt, water and urea. So what should I know? We'll be able to define excretion and define homeostasis. Know the difference between excretion and egestion. That was on an exam paper. List the organs of excretion and know what they excrete. And then be able to discuss how, for example, the kidneys produce urine or how the skin is involved in thermoregulation. So now you have to go on and watch the videos on the skin and the urinary system and the lungs to make sure that you tie all of this together. So remember, write your own notes. Do exam papers. Best of luck.